Hello everyone, it's Rob. It's been a while. I know I haven't done a video for YouTube in a long time. I know I moved past YouTube mainly doing Twitch videos, but I wanted to run an idea by you guys for a, for a, set, for a video series that I wanted to do for a while. And I'm going to make some videos here um, it, as, as sort of a testing ground. And it's not going to be what I'm doing, but it'll be a good experiment. So, in case you guys don't haven't realized by now, I go very against the grain. <laughs> I and one of my biggest pet peeves of all time is not only on the on the internet but in life in general. People form opinions based on popular opinion, and it really does bother me a lot. <laughs> of why are certain movies or games or TV shows or whatever in our media? And we're, I'm putting opinion aside, <laughs> um, popular opinion on beliefs and and um, social structure aside. At least I want this to be about our media. Um, why is things? Why are things so universally praised and other stuff so universally panned? I mean, it really, really bothers me. I once once I hear that something is automatically loved by everyone makes me very skeptical and usually I don't like it very much because I tend to look, go into everything fresh. Maybe it's my mindset that I view things a different way, but I try not to let popular opinion um, affect the way I see something. Maybe when I was younger I did, where I, I would automatically hate something that everyone else loved. Um, and, but I, I make it make a very conscious effort that if I absolutely hate something, I will come back to it every once in a while to see if my opinion has changed. Maybe my tastes have changed. Maybe I'll see, maybe I'll see the genius of it. Just like it's, if I absolutely love something, I'll revisit it, like like every once in a while to see if my opinion has changed. Now, one, what I want to try out here is this will not be my format. I want to do something that's more that's that's more um, professional with uh, actual editing and stuff like that. But I wanted to um, sort of test the waters a bit about how I talk about certain things. And I figured what better way um, than to talk about a game and do a Let's Play. I've never ever done a Let's Play. The closest I've done is a playthrough of Prince of Persia 2 for the Super Nintendo, and I put annotations in it, and I absolutely hate annotations, but I didn't really have... I know I had editing software that allowed me to do subtitles, but I didn't feel comfortable enough to do stuff like that. So I want to... T if you guys... You guys probably know what it is because I've been talking about it on Twitch. I've been addicted the last few months to... Daikatana. I bought this on eBay before it was released on GOG or Steam. And I played through it and I thought it was pretty okay. But I picked it up again in the like in the fall. And slash winter-ish. And with the fan-made version 1.3, they don't greatly change the game like say Eggtooth did with with um Painkiller Resurrection. Um which is a very sore topic. I won't get into it. <laughs> but basically, um, it, it's a very respectful patch that fixes stuff, and it, you can tell it's done by people that actually do like the game. Now, which is, on a side note, I before I made this video, I decided to Google, I like Daikatana. Not one time online did someone type, I like Daikatana. Now, I want to mention what I absolutely love about this game and what I feel needs needed a lot of work. I felt that I felt that it's a game that uh, putting aside the marketing campaign and bad press, which automatically makes people hate the game, or playing the only the first level. Damn! Oh, that bothers me. How people form opinions based on only the beginning of the game. It, it, it's it took too long to come out, and by time, and it's a very ambitious game, and by time it came out. 
other stuff passed it by because it took so long. So we're like Duke Nukem Forever. I feel that's aged a hell of a lot better than Duke Nukem Forever, which is saying a lot knowing that Duke Nukem Forever came out what, in 2012 or 2011. So it's not even five years old and it's already starting to show its age. But this came out in what, 2000? Um, and I felt that it's aged very well. This is, isn't quite in my top five, but I would honestly say it's in my top 10. I've really come to love the game and see the, see the real, to, to see the real effort and love and genius put into this game. Not the best game, I don't think it's for everyone, but I don't think that people have really given the game a chance. And so this new video series I wanna do is coming to the defense of stuff that people hate and knocking in knocking stuff that's universally loved down a peg. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, but so even though I'm doing a Let's Play, it's to sort of see how I talk about this stuff and I hope you guys like it. So with that said, I'm going to just uh, make the set of videos. You guys can let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll play through Dakotana one more time, see if I can figure out a few more things about the game that I never have before. That's the thing about this game. It's like a treasure trove of uh, stuff that no one has really posted online or really analyzed about the game. It's like finding uh, fi finding something find finding something new for myself. It it it's like a personal like like experience, you know, <laughs> or no like um, adventure, I should say, personal adventure um, through this game. That it's it's like I'm. It's, it's like I'm doing what no one else has, really enjoying this game. So, yeah. Stay tuned for this uh, Let's Play. I know I haven't really done Let's Plays. I've really only done playthroughs, but uh, it's something new I'm going to try here. So stay tuned for those, and talk to you all again soon.